Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Zona Zoo Sports Report. I'm Ben Gabrielson. Alongside me, Maddie Rundon. How are you, Maddie? I'm doing great, Ben. How are you doing? Doing well. It's a rare blustery day here in Tucson, but nonetheless, the weather's looking good inside the McHale Center as the Cats go on the road and win their first and second road games of the season against the Oregon schools. Now upcoming the tough test from the L.A. schools, USC, UCLA in town. Obviously, one of the better competitors in the Pac-10 year in and year out. We were live at the press conference this morning to talk to Russ Pinnell, Jordan Hill, Chase Buttinger, getting all their thoughts on the upcoming games. That's right, and we're also going to catch up with two of the Arizona Daily Wildcat basketball writers, Lance Madden and Brian Roy. You know, we just had a set, uh, set a statement that we can um, win on the road. You know, we just got to got to go out there and fight and play hard every, every possession. And we did that in both games. And now we got two two big games um, this week, which is at home. So that's a big advantage for us, you know, just to be back on home court. And just got to go out there and you know, do what we have to do. I don't think we can get caught up in, oh, we should have won that, and this happened, and this happened. Uh, what we're playing for right now is much bigger than that. We're playing good basketball. We want to continue with that. And, um, you know, obviously if you went over and played SC and they blew you out by 30, you wouldn't feel as good coming into the game. So, you know, it's a, another great opponent this league. We just have to be ready for them. Do you think they'll be able to make it their 25th uh, consecutive tournament appearance? Well, they'll be on the bubble up until Selection Sunday, no doubt about that. I think, uh, you know, starting with this weekend, the L.A. schools, that's definitely going to be, you know, a split will be considered a huge success, even though they were that close against SC, you know, in Los Angeles earlier this year. Uh, anytime you can split the L.A. schools, that's definitely an accomplishment. The Wildcats have, you know, looking now they're one of the hottest teams in the Pac-10 so you know they've got a tough schedule ahead including a trip to Seattle which is never easy um, but you know they'll be definitely a bubble team up until even throughout the Pac-10 tournament depending on you know who they play and how the matchups phase in the first round. Great thank you so much Brian. Thank you. How do you see this game against USC shaping up? Well, every game from here until the end of the season is going to be a big game for the Wildcats. But the biggest thing for Arizona is looking back to the last time that it played at USC in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Very, very close game. Arizona played very well the whole way through. There were two factors that kind of haunted Arizona in that game. One was the intentional foul on Nick Wise. Uh, he got knocked down, pulled a player down, and gave USC a chance to score a couple of mm -hmm. points that maybe they shouldn't have been allowed to score. Next thing was Jamel Horn's foul at the end. It was the second time this season that he committed a foul at the end of the game, which gave the Trojans uh, some last-second shots. Again, they won it at the free-throw line. Arizona's thinking about that heavily, and they're going to come in here, and uh, you know they've got home court advantage, which has helped them. Um, they've only lost twice at home this whole season, and they're 2-6 and six on the road. So if you think about that, they'll do a little bit better, I think, this weekend. The biggest thing is controlling UCLA's offense. They have a very, very balanced offense. They have five players that score eight points or more per game. It's very balanced, uh, but Arizona is becoming a better defensive team. At the beginning of the season, they were last in the Pac-10 in guarding the three-point shot, and now they're right there up at the top. So, um, you know, Arizona has matured a lot, and... Uh, Hopefully, they've, for their sake, they've matured a little bit more than UCLA has. All right. Thanks a lot, Lance, for joining us today. Thank you. And we have our reporter in the field, Connor Comp, down at the Men's Tennis Center where the UA Men's Tennis team is red hot. Connor, what do you got for us? Hey, Maddie and Ben. Connor Comp here at the Lonell Robinson Tennis Center. It was a crazy and wet, wild day as the number 45 Wildcats took on the Gales of St. Mary's while the women's tennis team took on our rivals up north, ASU. Let's see some highlights and coverage. We had a chance to catch up with freshman Jason Safiros, Andre Nacho Carrasco, and head coach Tad Berkowitz after the match. Are you the spark of this team? How have you made an impact overall? You know, I just I feed off of who's next to me, and I, I just I, I I play with a lot of energy, and um, that's that's like what keeps me going, it's and I not. think it helps the guy next to me as well, and then that court next to him, and it's just fun. College tennis is just so much more fun than playing junior tennis, so I think it, it impacts the team for sure. We're tough, man. We're like 
mentally, you know, the new freshmen, you know, Andres Arango, Jason, everyone is really tough mentally. We all want to be like a solid team, you know, all together. We want to make the nationals, we want to do good, you know, and, and I think we can beat any team, any team in the back 10. Well, we're sneaky. We're sneaky. I think we got a competitive team, a team that could surprise uh, a lot of schools, you know, especially some of the top Pac-10 schools. The Wildcats were able to defeat the Gales of St. Mary with a 4-0 victory, while on the women's side, we won all of our doubles matches. However, due to rain delays, the single matches were postponed. I'm Connor Comp, Zona Zoo TV, back to you. Thanks for that report, Connor. So the big games this weekend, again, Thursday and Saturday, USC and UCLA coming into town. And we want to thank you again for watching this week's episode of Zona Zoo TV. Uh, I'm Maddie Rundin alongside Ben Gabrielson, as always, and uh, we'll see you later.